Not every As Seen on TV product is a waste of money. In fact, some are so good that they'll stick by your side through thick and thin, rough and smooth, even in sickness and in health. I do. So put your vacuum back in its dusty corner, toss those cleaning wipes in the trash, and join us as we check out the stickiest mops around. Today we'll be pitting four industry-leading sticky mops against one another. Mr. Sticky, the Sticky, the Magic Stick, and of course, the Sticky Buddy. We'll throw these multi-purpose lint removers through the ringer. Find out who's the stickiest of them all. Riding down your block is Mr. Sticky, an extendable lint roller that never needs refill. This versatile tool came delivered in an easy to open cardboard package containing the sturdy metal extension and the red sticky roller. It's also got itself a handy adamantium shield to make sure it stays clean when stored and that it's ready in a snap. Just remove the thin layer of plastic that's covering the roller and screw that metal handle right into the base. We've also got ourselves the crowd favorite, the Sticky. This royal blue three-piece set comes with a roller of a similar size and a plastic extension. There's a travel-sized lint roller for when you're feeling dusty on the go, as well as a medium-sized handheld version with a cover. A quick peek at the literature details how to clean the unit and a reminder not to ingest it. Not just smoke and mirrors, it's the magic stick. First out of the box is the 38-inch extendable arm with a rigid metallic feel. We've also got the bag containing the medium and mini rollers as well. Of course, we can't forget the full-size roller that's hiding in the bottom. Really getting in there, we managed to pull up some instructions as well, but we're sure they're probably similar to the other two. Last but certainly not least is your good friend, the Sticky Buddy which was my nickname back in elementary school. This blue and yellow two-piece set boasts built-in rubber fingers to dig deep into carpeting or even pet your cat with. This set forgoes the need for a larger roller as the Sticky Buddy claims to have the power of glue without the goo. Before we jump into testing, you should know that all these sticky mops are essentially made from the same silicone material. In fact, the Sticky and Magic Stick appear to be exactly the same product in every aspect except color. Obviously, the extendable arms are differing in texture and width, but it's clear to see that not only are the smaller rollers of identical size, but they share the same handles as well. The larger ones, although having dissimilar handles, even share the same beautiful floral pattern on the sides. This is pretty common with as seen on TV products as generally one company makes them and 50 other ones rebrand them. All right, let's test these things. With all these products claiming to pick up dirt, lint, and various other items, we decided to up the ante by seeing what kind of work it could do on a muddy shoe print. The first step was to add a little dirt and water to a baking pan, leaving us with a nice chocolatey consistency that you definitely don't want to eat. I placed my shoe directly into the pan and proceeded to make four muddy footprints. Next up was to dry the things so that they'd be nice and stuck to the floor. Starting with Mr. Sticky, we're giving each product three swipes forward and backward to feign some modicum of control. As we work our way through them, you can see that each product performed pretty much the same. You can really see that these things definitely sucked up quite a bit of mud from the prints, and the Sticky Buddy requires you to get down on your knees to perform the task. If there is one negative aspect to these sticky devices, it's absolutely the cleaning. Although the commercials show the refuse running right off with just a bit of water, that's truly not the case. Not only do you have to run the rollers under warm water, even when you have a good amount of pressure like in a bathtub, but you also have to manually wipe the gunk off the roller with your hands, which is kind of gross. Not to mention, you're putting a ton of dirt, lint, and other assorted collectibles down your drain, which is a one-way trip to Clog City. Just take a look at how much stuff is left at the bottom of the bathtub. This is one instance where you'd be thrilled to simply peel off the outer layer of your lint roller and dispose of it in the trash. That being said, once they dry off, the rollers are back in mint condition, ready to venture off to our next test. Obviously, these sticky rollers are usually purchased as lint removal devices, so let's get that one out of the way real quick. Deep in the recesses of my forgotten clothing dungeon, I looted an old blazer that was packed to the brim with linty freshness. Vigorously rolling the sticky buddy back and forth made this look new again. Well, at least in the section we're showing you on camera. So this prime task alone makes these devices a worthy part of your cleaning arsenal. It picked up quite a bit, and the 
beauty of this is that you only need to do a quick rinse when it comes to lint. If someone owes you money, take it back with a sticky mop. Just wait for them to get distracted on their phone and slowly extend the arm of the handle. Navigate it through your home directly to your target. When the moment of opportunity strikes, slide right in with this inconspicuous grabber and snag any loose bills they have sticking out of their pockets. Once you've secured your bounty, slowly retract the device, pocket the loot, and ask them to leave your house. Look, it's an easy way to get that money that you were owed anyway. It also makes you the third sticky bandit. Let's face it, we've all lost money to the couch before, but how often do you get to collect on your investment? Using our all-powerful sticky allies, you can slam your pocket full of lost change without any risk of sticky fingers. You can use the larger rollers to easily slide underneath your couch and discover fortunes long forgotten. The versatility of these products is limitless. It even works well on the interior of the couch. All you gotta do is tilt your cushions back and slide one of the smaller rollers right in. Utilizing the handhelds is easy enough, although we notice that the coins don't stick very well to the smaller surface, or perhaps because there's so much junk in between the cushions. That being said, you may get lucky and snag a bonus Dorito while you're searching for change. Everyone knows that glitter can be an absolute nightmare to get out of your carpeting, so we laid it on the line and poured a big pile of it right into our heirloom rug. After massaging it in a bit, we put the magic stick into battle and it surprisingly made short work of the glitter, picking up about 90% of it in a short run. Not to be outdone, the shticky came through as the cleanup man and made this test a mere memory. So if you know any clumsy craft lovers, these tacky solutions might be right up their alley. In a car setting, the mini rollers leapt into action, tackling our debris-coated dashboard with relative ease, eliminating the need for pricey chemical-filled wipes that leave a residue on everything. Just a few quick swipes with the Sticky Buddy yielded great results and was the ideal way to scrub our deck and make it so shiny. When it comes to the Sticky, just flip it open like a Motorola Razor when moms call it, then give it a go. Honestly, these guys were a perfect idea to pick up whatever we've been accumulating over the last few months and quickly clean the dashboard of dusty particles. With the dash done, we decided to use the magic stick to take care of some carpet crud next to the door. Although it only seemed to pick up about half of the visible items, it's nothing you couldn't take care of if you invest the time. Rubber floor mats seemed to be another thing entirely, as the molded shape prevented anything from rolling over it easily. Even still, we managed to recover an unhealthy amount of rubbish, headed into the kitchen to restore them to their former glory. The sticky buddy took a deep dive right into the warm water, and due to the dashboard having been covered in only light particulate, cleaned off quite easily with just a little rub. Unfortunately for us, this is where the masked magician revealed his tricks. While cleaning the magic stick using the same techniques, we noticed that a large section of the roller started to peel back. With curiosity peaking, we peeled the remainder of it off. Mini Magician did a presto changeo from useful travel brush to useless plastic spinner on a stick. With the chores done and some profit made, you're sure to work up an appetite with your adhesive pals. But what do you do if you're all out of snacks? <laughs> it's simple, really, as your friendly ants are known to leave clues around your home. Thankfully for us, ours pointed directly to a delicious, bountiful feast under the oven. Call in an associate to do the heavy tilting and roll your sticky helper right underneath. Look at that. A delicious fish sticky feast for one, complete with side item. Mere moments later, you've scavenged an Instagram-worthy meal for your family to envy. Dinner is served. All in all, we're pretty happy with our purchases due to the myriad of surfaces you can clean, whether it's car interior, couches, or even the oven hood. Just a couple rolls is all it takes to quickly collect any dust or particulate you've got hanging out up there. And if you do it right, you'll even pass the coveted white glove inspection test, all without worrying about any chemicals overspraying into your cooking surfaces. Based on the prices, durability, and multiple pieces, we've got to say that this week's clean king is the Sticky. Not only does it come in around 15 bucks, but it's got all the parts you need shows resilience, and it has an absolutely obnoxious commercial. We'd say to go ahead and skip the overpriced magic stick bundle as some of the pieces showed major wear in just one day. And the Sticky Buddy just gets cluttered too quickly. Mr. Sticky's gonna be the runner-up though, based on its durability alone. Only succumb to the Sticky due to the fact that you pay a premium price for a single piece. Just remember one thing, as delicious as these things may look while on display, they aren't edible. So don't put them in your mouth. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, 
playlist should be on your screen right now. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe, ring the bell, promise me your firstborn, sign my petition to bring back family ties, join our newsletter, donate to our Patreon, follow us on MySpace, and add me on Xbox Live. See you next time.